All right, so we're here in round three, playing against Semulin. If you haven't ever watched any of his stream or any of his videos, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, I don't know why Blood Ted's revealed hand is here, or a hand or something. I don't know how to get rid of it in the uh, new client, so we're just going to deal with it. And we have an immediate mole again, so we will mole again that guy. And then we got a keep here. Not a great keep, but we have Lightning Strike. One mound gets us the Enforcer. And then we will be on target. Oh, and here's Semulent. If you haven't, uh, if you want to check out his Twitch, check it out. Twitch.tv slash Semulent. Um, super, super fun guy. I used to watch, I think, what, on Mana Bluff? Or not on Mana Bluff. I'm Mana Bluff. On um, DraftMagic.com before they went under? Not too sure. All right, Blood Ted's hand. Get away. Get away of this. Ooh, here's a thing that makes it bigger. Now we're gonna make it smaller. <laughs> Just get it out of the way here. Just leave. All right, and I'll keep this guy now, as I said earlier. And we'll lead off with this guy. Ooh, Schwamparoo. I guess any land would be fine. I mean, yeah, a mountain I would... I mean, if I had my perfect order, we go mountain first and then eventually get into a uh, a swamp. And then later on a forest. <laughs> That's kind of the dream there. We'll see how lucky we get. Mountain is good, unlike last time. Oh, hello, chat. And thank you. Thank you very much for the good luck as well. Our match is underway with Blood Ted's Hand. All right, no two drop from the opponent there. So we'll just go ahead and run out our enforcer, see if that gets a removal spell or not. I feel like that's this is one of the cards. It's not like super tier one for sure. It takes an, a lightning strike right away. But it's definitely a do that on turn three. If it's not dealt with fairly soon with Intimidate, it's a bummer. But yeah, playing against red, it's not as great of a deal, of course. Ooh, so we're just going to go ahead and run into a trade here. I'm fine with that. My guy is a little bit better, but um, clearing the way so our Kurd Chieftain can get pretty nice is is pretty pretty okay in my book. And then yeah, a forest or a swamp in the future would be pretty dandy. Here comes a crow, which will be nice because we get to attack unopposed with our Kurd Chieftain. And man, oh man, did we get there. I can't cast it yet, but this is pretty sweet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the pump because I don't want to signal that I actually have like a combat trick. And if I'm not playing a dude, like I should just go ahead and, and get in the damage. Because uh, otherwise it's just like way too obvious I have something like a lightning strike. And right now Simeon's a little bit stuck on three lands. Could still come back. Uh, it's getting there, but taking life when I can beat down for six isn't exactly a great thing. But still, needing to hit those land drops is really important. And there comes Crippling Blight. Slowing down my clock. Which is good. Exactly what should be happening while uh, I mean, with six cards in hand, my opponent can totally get out of this race situation in an okay fashion. Is looking to do that. It's like I'm super far ahead, but getting the silver back online next is going to be pretty sweet. I could choose to uh, wait until another land comes to protect the silver back, but it may not be a forest. So I think I just take what I can now, and then uh, if my if something can deal with it, like uh, you know the five drop removal spell, I forget what it's called, that can't be regenerated. Well, that's gonna happen. Well, I guess it can't be regenerated anyway, right? But already some other removal spell. I'm still slightly winning the race, especially with a lightning strike and this pump ability in hand. I guess I shouldn't say slightly. I am winning the race, so there you go. But there are at least lands in play opposite side of the table. So if some powerful spells can come down to start stabilizing against our really nice uncommons, then we might be in shape here. 
I need to pay attention to when I have priority. Attacking with the crows, because otherwise it's just a chump block. Ooh, and that's about it. So this is probably it in general. Um, I don't think I want to show the rabble master, but I think I kind of have to. Because if for some reason um, one of these guys does get dealt with, uh, I am going to want on the table. It's a bummer. It's always nice to not have more what have you uh, showing cards. But it's really more about combat tricks anyway, right? Yeah. I don't know. Cancel. Sorry. Beginning of combat. Let's move forward to attacking. That's what I'd like to do. Nope. There is a flesh. Yep. I assume. Yep. Exactly. It can't be regenerated, so there's no point in regenerating. But we still get a bash in for a wee bit. And that puts us in a really good spot for the rest of the game, especially with a lightning strike in hand. So this will be a 4-2. Plus two guys coming through. I'm going to try not to show the lightning strike, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to. Ooh, Forge Devil. You taking out one of my goblins? I'm taking out one of my goblins. All right, can I do lethal with just the Kurd Chieftain? If I attack with everything. Four, one, two, three. No, I don't think so. Oh, but something else? Ooh, okay. All right. Too bad you can't kill something in response. Still, I mean, we're not in dire shape, but that four life is, is definitely getting... A little bit scary to like get things back in the game but ooh double lightning strike that's game do I really want to show both though I think I just kind of have to because I lose this game by not so we'll go ahead and attack in with everything it just sucks I have to show both but whatever Alrighty. So what what am I anticipating? I don't know these cards in this in this deck uh, in this set so well. I'm just trying to figure out in the colors I'm seeing and what I have seen. Do I still want to keep the build I have? And I think I do. Obviously, I'm like really married to what I've built here. I think it's a fun deck, and on top of it, like I just like the power level of the cards. But it might be right to like do that switch I was mentioning a few times throughout the, the tournament about getting rid of the inconsistencies in my deck. Uh, but it's just hard to gauge also with what I saw from across the table since we both had some like little mini minor uh, mana issues. I guess, no, I didn't have any man minor mana issues. I did like one mole, right? Yeah. And then I got lucky with the second mountain, so I was good. I had no mana issues. I just had a, this guy chilling in my hand and wasn't relevant. But all we saw was a Forge Devil. I don't want to bring in a Forge Devil for mine. I don't have that many things that care. I have a Torch Fiend that matters, but the Forge Devil could bring it out. But who knows? There might be a, an artifact I care about later on. So I think we'll just keep it this way. All right, and here's a keep. One land gets us going, and then we have a nice Lightning Strike. And there we have it. Just going to two to three, and then hopefully to four, and just keep keep the beats on, and then hopefully not get too blown out when we start drawing not the right color lands. But hey, we got it. We got another color, so that's always nice. This could totally get doubled out, right? Oh, it is a devil itself. Flavor fail. Well, I guess devils can kill each other. Never mind. But I just feel like they, you know, they want to be like, you know, cool together, good bros, good bros together. All right, the race is starting. Wow, we got all of our manas, which is nice. Crankles enforcers. Kind of forgot how that's not as awesome against a red opponent. Could have thought about that for sideboard, but I still don't think it's right to sideboard these guys out. They're still decent three drops. Opponent still has to do it on red. Opponent's hanging back. We're shumping online. We're going to keep this guy out in order to have our tricks available 
And if my opponent wants to trade Torch Fiend with Carrion Crow, I'm okay with that, by all means. But I assume there's some kind of combat trick or something going on, which is why we're hoping to use our uh, Ulcerate. Straight up trade? Straight up trade. Alright, in that case, we get a Mongrel out. Uh, I would do an Ulcerate if there was like the, the first strike combat trick like I have. I forget what it's called, but the Convoke one. Um, you know, my opponent will use, use Convoke. But I would do that, and then I would, and I'd use Ulster instead of Lightning Strike, so I can sell the double red. Well, I guess I could just play a mountain. No, because I played the swamp already to get the Ulster out. Yeah, never mind. That's what's would have happened. And we got a really nice, sweet curve here, two, three, four, um, with Simulan being kind of stuck without a four drop. Here comes a five that we don't care about. And just uh, excels a target creature card. Okay, gains a little bit of life. That's fine. We still have a two, two that can attack in. Um, and I think we just go ahead and add more Intimidate to the board. I certainly could do an Ulcerate to take out this guy. I think I do. Yeah, I just want to put the pressure up, and a 3-5 is like such a blocker. And if I can get out of the way with a 3-3 on the table, then I'm going to be pretty happy with my life. And this really forces the block here. So I take three damage, but, and, you know, I don't get a whole lot out of it, but this is fine. Because we still got to commit to the board with a lightning strike for next turn, and then any land gets a blast fireball. Does it go to player two? No, it's just a creature. I'm not complaining, though. Sign and blood? Yes. In race situation, I'm very okay with that. Not race, but I mean, like, I'm trying to be ahead. That's just another sign of blood that um, is a way to try to get out of that. Ooh, Cruel Sadist. Not great in this board state. I mean, you need a creature, you need a creature. But considering that uh, it's such a slow card, it can be really powerful, but as being a slow card, it's just when you're behind, that just goes to show how nasty it can be. Has to take four. Is there a chump coming with maybe some other spell? An ulcerate. So my guy gets an ulcerate. Well, can't help that, but it still gets three damage. And with a race of four, that's pretty okay. And then play generator servant. If that was the play, and now with a bunch of intimidate, I'm feeling pretty good with three to the face. My, there's technically lethal opposite side of the table. What big scary thing? A dragon? No, another covenant taking out that guy. Yep, that's gonna happen. Sure is, which means I can't do the lightning strike for the win. Another mountain's okay. I'm gonna play that for instant for whatever, but I'm actually fine with the servant training with the sadist instead of like I could just kill it and then attack for four. Mm, probably should have done that actually. No, but I'm, I'm okay with that. I think I'm enough in a lead that I just want to keep this for threats that I can't deal with. Marauder. Yeah, so like that's going to get lightning struck. Could have used the Blast Firebolt because um, it doesn't go to the face. But I think it's pretty relevant to... Uh, save it for like, I think I really lose from like a bomb creature, not from like a dork creature. Two cards in hand. I don't know the... The commons or uncommons that really matter here. Flesh to dust, yes, is a thing, but I'm still attacking for three. Interesting decision on taking out the Kranko's Enforcer over this. I mean, only because I assume there are actually uh, red creatures in my opponent's deck to like deal with this Intimidate, but maybe not having them in hand. My opponent feels like there's something that can happen here instead. Don't know. 
but I'm very happy to go for three here. Another removal spell would be annoying because I need to start drawing into a creature to start actually taking out things. I'm going to save the forest in case there's a discard something that I just don't know of. All right, there's that dude, which is probably just going to take a blast firebolt again, just to keep clearing the way. I'm instead of end of turn having mana up, I'm just going to wait and see what I draw. Lightning strike, yeah. See, that's super fun. Would have been cool to have gotten. Uh, you know, in this case, I would have won if I had done the blast firebolt first. Tapping out is okay here. Just clearing out a lot. Like we're just kind of on the one ones track, and I'm still putting myself in a position to have two lethal cards on the table at, at one life. So untapping should be just fine. Oh, life gain. Oh, the life gain. All right, I need a creature. But hey, I got one. How about that? I'm going to do one point of damage. That was a pretty nice top deck. Not going to lie. Ripping her rare. I'm not complaining. Crippling Blight. Alright. Just barely staying alive. We'll go ahead and try to get the win in with the uh, with the crowd's favor. So what is that? Oh wait, that that's just lethal. Oh, gee. cool. So just having some pleasantries with Semulin, who I'm a fan of. Um, and he wants to check out the draft, which is super cool. So that'd be awesome. Hey, if you're watching this at the end, make sure you leave a comment, Simulin, and we can talk all about it. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing your screen name right, but whatever. Um, super fun. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, this is Ryan from ManaBluff.com. Please comment, subscribe, and like on YouTube. Or you can find me on Twitter, underscore, underscore, RJH, underscore, underscore. And I hope everyone's enjoying M15. Now that we have it online. We'll be back next Friday on the normal schedule. Uh, with another draft, and I'll catch you next week. Peace!